Welcome back, everyone. Today, I thought I'd start a new anime by the name of Food Wars. All right, so I have, uh, I've been to a couple of different conventions. I've been to, uh, what is it, Comic-Con. I've been to Crunchyroll Expo. I've been to Fanime Con. And everywhere I go, I seem to find a reference to this anime in particular, Food Wars. This episode is called The Vast Wasteland. I don't really know what this uh, series is about. I just read the summary. It's about, like, some guy competing with his dad or something. That's what this episode's about or something. I don't know. It says here, let's see. Soma is a teenage chef who is always looking for the perfect flavors and combinations in his art, the art of cooking. So when his father suddenly closes down the family diner, his hopes of someday owning fade away. But his dad has bigger plans for him, enrolling him in a cutthroat culinary school so Soma can prove his worth. Will he make the cut, or will his pot boil over? Find out in Food Wars. So this is apparently just like a happy-go-lucky anime. There's no, like, insane amounts of uh, horror or drama or nothing like that. There's no, like, this intense thing or anything. Just, like, a fun little anime. I thought, why don't I try it out? All right, I've just heard so many things about this anime. People seem to love it for whatever reason. It's from 2015. I ought to give it a chance. Anyway, so if you are tuning in for the first time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as I will be posting as many reactions to this anime as possible over the next few months. I'll be posting to other animes that I've been watching as well as other shows that are going on. Feel free to support me if you can. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the summer and summer's almost up in about a month and 10 days from today or nine days or 11. I don't know. It's it's August 11th as I as I film this. All right. So yeah, if you could all just help me out, please do so. I'd appreciate it very much. In the meantime, though, enjoy. The following is intended only for mature audiences. Well, that's not ominous at all. Why is it for mature audiences only? Disgusting. Disgusting. Well, that's a funny way to start. Okay, what's... Squid tentacles and peanut butter? Okay, you've got me interested. Oh, so he and his dad are doing cooking battles. What do you know? Is she... How much is she freaking out exactly, and in what way? Okay, so it looks like his dad always wins. Soma Yukihira. Jochiro Yukihira. Okay. 500 losses? Okay, so they just have- So they're always fighting each other when it comes to this. So that's the start of the food wars, I guess. It has a really strange effect on them. They're having borderline orgasms. What the f- I guess foodgasms. So yeah, he's really upset. <laughs> Peanut butter flavored fried squid tentacles. That sounds insane. You don't cook peanut butter like that. Especially now with squid. Okay, he's losing his mind. <laughs> okay, he's got me interested. Uh, wrong genre. <laughs> oh my god, no, I can't show that. What is this, hentai? Uh, cookies indeed a vast wasteland. A wasteland of what, hentai? <sighs> Insanity. Well, you, you chose his father over him, so, yeah. No shit. So what if it's worse? It just means you're a worse cook than him. <laughs> okay, it's got me interested. There we go, I added the copyright. So yeah, this is just basically humor-based, you know, comedy. I'm good with that. Shugeki Musoma? I didn't read that properly. So there's our main characters. 
Not a bad song. So it looks like this anime is just them cooking. And then they're going to have weird tentacle moments like that with hentai, for God's sake. It's insane. Really didn't need to see any of that. Alright, so that little trick I just did will make my editing a little better. I won't need to add that on later. Japanese eatery, Yukihara. The vast wasteland. I can't eat tofu. I can't, I refuse. Oh, we got some ominous spies here. I'm guessing they're uh, trying to steal secret formula? Recipe? <laughs> ah, plankton. Oh, looks like they got some competition or government. I don't know. Okay, so a lot of fan service here. Oh, so they're real estate developers. They want to shut everything down. Okay, we're going to have a little Scooby-Doo moment where it's like some kind of real estate scam. And so they want to, you know, buy up a building at, on the cheap. Oh, he just set himself up for failure, didn't he? But hey, at least he was able to burn that card. Oh, okay. I, I like that it has a little explanation at top. It's not on the screen. But, you know, he's saying, like, we need to purify the air with salt. Because anime songs are awesome. It's all I listen to. You know, when it comes to, like, Japanese music. Oh, he's going to sell it. Yeah, he's going to sell it. Oh, shit. They destroyed everything. What's with the white stuff? Okay, yeah, that... Yeah... This is not a good idea. Okay, enough with the fan service. Seriously. It's not like he signed a contract. In Japan, do you have a right to, uh... You know, a right to refuse service to anyone? Oh, he's gonna take the spoiled beat and do it. <laughs> Or not. Oh, he is a badass cook. Ready for anything. It's a food war! Wow. Is he doing it with his eyes closed? Looks like it. So he's got to have something else somewhere. Baked meat, perhaps? Tofu? Impossible burger? I don't know. Or did he just take all that spoiled meat and just cook it up? I'd be sure to charge her like two or three hundred bucks at the very least. You know, like... Uh... 30,000 yen? Roast pork. Oh, yeah, that's what he had. So-called roast pork, but it's still meat. Sometimes he's going to have like a food, uh, a food gasm. I don't know. Mouth gasm, whatever it's called. And again, her tits are hanging out. So more fan service. Oh, she can't resist. <laughs> Oh my, it's, is it mind controlling her? 
It looks like it. Enough with the fan service. Seriously. So it's nothing but humor and fan service. Okay. Noted. Noted. <laughs> I'm gonna just cut out before it shows anything else. This is this is not the worst fan service I've ever. Seen. Oh my! Oh my God! Those are jiggling. Something tells me this kid's gonna have no problem uh, finding a wife. Actually, he's gonna have a, a huge problem finding a wife because he's gonna have to find a wife who doesn't enjoy cooking, <laughs> and prefers he cooks. And he doesn't enjoy the housework. I'm kidding, everybody. I'm kidding. I actually sounded really weird when I said it that way, but... You know, like a competition between the, the husband and wife. I actually have to find someone who enjoys cooking as much as he does. Let's, let's go with that. Now, I know for a fact there's YouTube videos that teach you how to make all these different dishes. Might have to try that myself one day. I can cook. I mean, I can, like, I can cook on a stove and do some basic shit. I can't... Do like high quality premium stuff, of course. <laughs> a sensual tenture. texture. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> Enough with the fan service. Yeah, she can't resist at all. Okay, come on, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Take a shirt off and then eat it. She's not wearing a shirt, people. They all crave it so badly. My god. I suppose that works. <laughs> oh, they're all gonna dig in. This is extremely over. Oh. I am not showing that on screen. Now I can see why this is. Why it gave me that parental guidance rating. Yeah, sorry everyone. I am not showing this. I am not. <laughs> uh, my younger cousins watch my videos. They're like 13. And 10. Which means they shouldn't be watching this video in the first place, but even so. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing he could satisfy 100 women at the same time without even touching them. <laughs> yeah, I had to make that joke. And men, too. Let's, let's be real. And his dad's even better than that? That's insane. Well, I already read the description, so they are going to sell this place. Oh, his dad's returned. What did he do? What did he do? In two or three years, the shop will reopen. So it's going to close down for two or three years? So it's not permanent. Wow, he's just going to leave like that? So he's sending him to a school. So this anime is going to last at least three years of his time. I think they're on like, what, season five now? Okay. So basically home ec class. <laughs> I don't think that's what's going to be. A little dramatic, don't you think? So it's very hard to get in, or and also they, they expel you easily. One of the best cooking schools in Japan. Only ten percent graduate. Oh, he is in for quite the experience. I am currently watching the ending, and it is extremely oversexualized. I was not expecting this. I get, I never heard anything about. When, I, when they said they had spicy stuff, I assumed they meant food. <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm not playing this ending at all right here. No, y'all... You, if if y'all have seen this anime, you know what I'm looking at. I don't know. The anime has me hooked with how he cooks and all the effects and all that shit, but the fan service is to an extreme, insane, spicy level of like, content. My god. Alright, I may be Mexican, but I can't take that much spicy food. And, like, you know, Asian spicy food, Japanese spicy food is... I was outside my league. Okay. I guess I should have realized it was an after credit scene. And it's just more fan service. What the hell? Well, okay then. Disgusting. Yeah, this episode was disgusting. Oh, so she's one of the teachers. A jukebox. <laughs> Oh, you gotta show us her full body, right? And they're jiggling! Neither am I. Okay, I'm... No, I'll say it after this preview. God tongue? That... That flavored squid felt... Kinda... What? She even liked the, the flavored squid! <laughs> okay! That was absolutely disgusting. My god. Look, I enjoy a woman's body as much as every other straight man, but... There's there's a limit, and I'm not a fan of animated stuff. Like, I, I've never understood people who enjoy animated shit. You know what? You wonder what I see when I see, all, when I, when I see all that shit? I'll tell you what I see. I see... Like, weird, strange fantasy bullshit that everyone wants for some reason. And I'm like, that's a drawing! Alright, I've got like, if y'all could see my room right now, I got anime posters everywhere. Not, you know, not like scandalous women or anything, but I've got a... Well, I've got a few. A few women, but they're not scandalous, no. It's like, you know, we got Pokemon characters over there, Naruto characters over here. And, and, like, like, we got Hinata up here, and she's not even like... It, it, it's, uh... It's from Naruto the Last, the last Naruto movie, and it's just like, it's just a little shape of her head that's it and then sakura beneath her and then we got like uh, i mean i guess we got the hokage up there and the mizukage and then we've got you know i'll give you all a room tour eventually maybe when it's a little neater but that's that's about it i, I got princess leia somewhere no that's not princess leia okay the point is i've got women in here but it is nowhere near as spicy or as over-sexualized as that. That is insane. Alright, back in the day, I watched High School DxD. One episode. Wonder why I stopped that one episode? I took one look at that episode and how insane it was with the amount of fan service, spicy content, jiggling, you know? With all that. And my immediately my immediate thought was, nah, this, this is not going to be worth it. I, I hear the plot is decent. But then again, that's what they used to say about uh, nudie magazines. They used to be like, oh, I just read it for the articles. I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Now, granted, there were some people who did so. And they even made, like, it's funny. They actually made a blind version of it uh, where it's written in Braille. Really strange. Really strange. But, you know, I suppose the blind want to read the articles. But, yeah. I mean, come on. How, how many of y'all knew, like, some kid on the block who said, oh, I'm only reading the articles on this nudie magazine. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you are. You know what I did with nudie magazines? I left them at Food Max where they belonged. I never actually grabbed any. Why? Never made any sense to me. It, it, it's just drawings. I'm exaggerating. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. All, it was like, there's, there's real women out there. Go meet some. Yeah. People waste way too much time on uh, certain websites and, you know, in drugstores with nudie magazines and shit like that. No, so people are wasting a lot of time with these animes that have jiggling and ass shots and boobies and all that shit. And no, no, it's a little too much for me. <laughs> uh, I am definitely going to have to make some kind of video on like how over-sexualized this show is, but oh well. I mean, when I saw like her legs quivering, I'm like, oh damn, she's like doing that. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, they're actually showing her like the, the clothes come off. And everything, it's like, you can see her exposed body along with all those men. I'm like, oh my god. That is crazy shit. This is not what I signed up for.
Ah. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed that, which I'm sure you all did, you fucking perverts, <laughs> uh, be, sure to, be sure to tune in next time for when I watch Food Wars Episode 2. I don't think I'm going to watch it right now. I can only take one spicy episode a day. Who knows? Maybe I'll start right now. Uh, I'm not going to watch the dub version tonight. I'll, I'll watch that later. But I can only imagine just how bad the dub version is going to be. All right. It's one thing if you're reading the lines verbatim. It's another thing if they're like, okay, we're going to write these lines to be like, to sync with the with the subversion, <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. Do I need to go spend five minutes behind the bushes like a like a little thirteen year old boy? <laughs> no. Guess what? I could go uh, anywhere in downtown right now and go meet some women. All right. Now I'm not saying I'd you know take them home for the night. I'm just saying I could go meet them, talk to them, and stare at their real boobies and not these weird animated ones. I get it. It's weird fantasies, but even so. <laughs> No, no, okay. <laughs> ah, I don't have any anime crushes, none whatsoever. I don't have any cartoon crushes. I don't even have celebrity crushes for God's sake. Not a single one. No, only crushes I've ever had are on real people I've met. All right. <laughs> ah, just no. All right. Everyone in my classroom, like, okay, I never even had a crush on any of my teachers for God's sake. Yeah, I was a weird kid for a while. I thought I might have been asexual. Well, my parents thought I was gay for a while, but that, that didn't happen. And then my classmate, funny thing, I actually, uh, there's this other YouTuber, the Mysterious Mr. Enter. He's, uh, he's asexual. He's a cartoon reviewer. And he talked about how he used to have uh, a bunch of kids, like, rip on him saying he was gay. He was, he was asexual, so he just never, never really, uh, had a sexual awakening. And for him, he's like, yeah, they're calling me gay, but they're the ones drawing dicks everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, good point. <laughs> that, that's the same in my in my school, you know, a fifth grader, not in love with the teacher. And they're like, are you gay? And I'm like, well, no, I don't think so. I never looked at a man and said, damn, I want some of that. <laughs> but, you know, and they're like, oh, okay. Hey, we're going to go draw all these dicks everywhere. And I'm like, you guys are fucking 10 years old. And you're drawing dicks. Ugh. It's like, it's like that movie super bad where, uh, what, what is it? Uh, Jonah Hill. He was drawing a bunch of dicks. I just sit there for hours on end drawing dicks. It's insane. <laughs> and he wasn't even doing it like to, for fun. He was just like, he had like a mental disorder or something. I don't know. Here I am, this little kid, and I can't stop drawing dicks to save my own life. Because I don't care how gay or how like uh, promiscuous you are. If you're really that promiscuous, even at a young age, I don't think you're spending all your time drawing dicks. You're going to spend all your time looking at nudie magazines trying to find dicks or something or go on the internet. Now, granted, that movie was made in 2005, so he must have been like, in the 90s and that happened but still the sears catalog or something i mean come on we all we all saw one of those every once in a while right we catch it in our father's office or something no no i'm not getting into that be sure to leave a like and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed my insane commentary because i'm definitely gonna have to make a video of just like all this content and my reaction to all of it it's gonna be way over the top i haven't i don't think i've reacted this over the top to some kind of sexualized scene since uh since halo episode eight which by the way i never watched halo episode nine all right that's how bad that episode was i just never finished the series i never had any interest in doing it i will do it eventually but not today not today my god you know let's watch the next episode